Good morning, Chicago. I'm very grateful to be back here in the United States. New at 11, he is finally back home. A doctor detained in the midst of President Trump's travel ban returning to the city of Chicago. Thanks for joining us. I'm Lionel Moyes. Good morning. I'm Erin Kennedy. The doctor is back after federal officials determined his visa was valid. CBS 2's Vince Durasoli joins us live from O'Hare. Hi, Vince. Hi, Aaron. Hi, Lionel. Dr. Amir Alhamsi is back on U.S. soil. He had a smile of relief on his face today, and he said he never gave up hope that he would return to the United States, and now he's ready to resume his residency at Advocate Christ Medical Center in Oak Lawn. The 24-year-old doctor was greeted by colleagues, his uncle, and his legal team after arriving at O'Hare International Airport this morning. A resident of the United Arab Emirates with a Syrian passport, he returned home about two weeks ago to get married, but the doctor was turned away from his return turn flight on Saturday in Abu Dhabi. U.S. Customs officials there con concluded that his visa needed to be canceled following President Trump's executive order and travel ban. The doctor's legal team in Chicago filed a civil suit challenging that, but government attorneys, before a hearing could even be held, reviewed his case and determined that his visa remained valid. Dozens of his colleagues from the hospital turned out in federal court yesterday in solidarity, and that wasn't lost on the doctor. When I saw the pictures and the videos, and they actually, each one of them personally contacted me over the social media, WhatsApp, Facebook, emails, without their support, I wouldn't have had hope. But when I saw them, I knew I would be able to come here now. The fact that we were able to get this done with just the filing of a civil complaint, with the cooperation of government lawyers, I think speaks volumes for the rule of law. Dr. Ahamsi left the airport only about 20 minutes ago. He's headed directly to the hospital. He'll be reviewing his caseload today, and he hopes to be back to work as early as tomorrow. Reporting live from O'Hare International Airport, I'm Vince Girasoli, CBS 2 News. All right, good that he made it back, Vince. Thank you.